All right, Reese, here is a look at run one, Bromley GS. Hey, you had a good day. Fifth place in this run. Fifth overall. Nice job. Congrats. Let's check it out. Got a little low on, on some sections, as you probably saw. Came in here and just didn't quite stand the outside ski enough. The hill fell away there, so we just sort of skidded a little bit low here. You know, we really wanted to be up closer to that gate, so. Anytime there's, there's a fall away, we got to give ourselves a little extra room above the gate where we intersect, right? And be patient. I mean, it looks like you're really starting to turn a little bit too early. So you got to kind of lay off of it a bit and then try to pressure down here, and that, that was hard. So we're on the low line now, right? Approaching this gate, intersecting rise line, uh, you know, just, just above the panel. So we know then it's going to be below, right? And you see the spray going on and unfortunately just dumped all your, a lot of your speed coming onto this flat. Still riding the low line, which, you know, unfortunately late, late, you know, becomes, continues to be late for a while until we can get back online. I think we could have here, I don't know, you know, I think, I'm not sure you, why you're so wide to that gate out in the soft stuff. You know, it looks like you're back on, on a good position here to be tight to the gate. We gotta get tight to the gate. I mean, you're, you're well off well off the gate. We need, don't need to hit them, but let's make sure we are right on them. The other thing we've been talking about is you tend to be just you know, too far bent over at the waist. Really hard to pressure the outside ski, absorb terrain, uh, get the feet as, as far as we want out. From under us, when we're so bent over, all right, really bent over there. Due to delay and big turn here. A good job. You try to get outside rise on. You're trying to bring shape back. You just gotta stand a little, a little stronger on the outside ski. You know, because we drifted a little bit low here, but it's a pretty good turn. Good looking turn there. Intersecting rise line with our skis pointing out in a way. Just a little bit below. Little terrain here. This was a cool little turn. A little terrain. You got slightly air, but right back down and made a nice turn right through there. Good job. But I don't know. I don't know what happened here. It looks like you just got a little launched. Again, I think there's some more terrain down there. Another bump. Got a little launched and wasn't really ready for it and. Ended up pretty wide on that gate. And still running a little bit of the low line, right? Got a lot going on below the gate. You know, it makes sense. It's okay to have, when the course flattens out and, 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 and or, or gets straighter, to have half our turn above, half our turn below. But anytime it's offset, you know, we got to have more of our turn ab above the gate. Not sure what was happening here. Looks like you. I don't know. I'm not sure what you were doing. Feet awfully wide for a tuck. I don't know if you're trying to skate through that while tucking, which is really hard. Um, we either want to skate or tuck. In this case, we want to tuck. But again, 
Nice job. Uh, fifth place. It was awesome. Again, let's make sure, you know, anytime steep and offset, give ourselves, you know, enough room above. And that's the hard thing. To, you know, can we be too high, too round? Yes. Um, can we be too low and direct? Yes. So it's, a, it's not easy to figure out exactly, but um, you got a little laid up above because we didn't give ourselves enough room above the gate. We're in intersect rise line. But uh, general rule of thumb, we got to be turning above the gate when it's steep and offset. And we can kind of turn around the gate when it's flatter and straighter. But uh, as I said, nice job. Congrats.